Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections Read for you. Um, WLCs are for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. It's Weekly Love Connections Read. Okay? Particularly if you are dealing with a certain individual that you want to get insights upon. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. If you need information with regards to my private readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as if ever I would extend my readings, the video links and the extended um, video links and um, all the other relevant information will be in the description box below. So go ahead and check them out if you're inclined. Okay? So, Cappies. What do we have for you for this week? This is for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> In love. Let me do it one more time. <laughs> I'm just inclined to do it one more time. Okay. Capricorn, oh, you've got Ace of Wands, the Empress, hot stuff, Page of Coins. Page of Swords, King of Swords, Devil, Seven of Coins, High Priestess, Queen of Coins, Seven of Cups, Hangman, Ten of Wands, Hierophant, Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Coins. Wow, all tens. Something is ending, something is beginning. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, Cappy, you have the world. <laughs> All lessons learned, and uh, what is this? Thank you. Next. <laughs> well, that is for some of you. All right. Um, this is general read, guys, so take it however that resonates, and um, energies could go vice versa. And, yeah, it may or may not resonate with you, but um, let me read through this, okay? Um, I feel that the um, the cycle that you've been in pretty recently has come to an end. You have learned your lessons, they have learned their lessons, and this could be the time for you to um, do that proper closure, if you are willing to give that to the person, or vice versa, or if you're expecting that from the person, but generally, I feel that it's closing out, something is closing out here, and you're learning your lesson. You've learned whatever you needed to learn for that cycle. Mm-hmm. And Cappy, you're coming in here hot with the Ace of Wands and the Empress. I feel that, um, well, for some of you, I feel that you are starting off um, dating someone and you are their third party. That's right off the bat, that right there, okay? This, or you are involved in a third party situation and that you have hearts for this person, but um, yeah. It's a third party connection. For some of you, I'm getting that you are much into, you could be attracted to um, someone who is not um, fully available to you. An empress right there could be a mistress or, yeah, that, that sort of um, energy. But not for all of you, that, that's just one of the messages I'm getting. Another message is, uh, I feel that you're wanting to start something. This is on a positive note, though, so listen up. I want, you're wanting to start um, this new or to initiate towards somebody, towards um, possibly a Taurus or a Libra, that um, you see somebody, um, you're seeing this someone as uh, a divine feminine for you, somebody who you feel you can be with in the long term, somebody that you can be abundant with for the long term, yeah? Um this is someone who can um, you can see who is capable of expressing their emotions pretty openly with emotional awareness they could also feel how you feel about them you know like more of they are much aware of their emotions and their in their connections all right this also talks about somebody that you see as being abundant somebody you can grow and expand with in life 
grow and expand that means possibly being committed um, having a long-term um, companionship or even getting married in the long term or having that white picket fence that's what they say but to me I would say it's the penthouse by the Central Park why not yeah so <laughs> I see that you're wanting to have this initiation you wanted to start something new but there's that bit of a, a challenge in starting things off rather on a practical terms why Cappy? Mm -hmm. Has this person been cold towards you? Has this person been detached? This could be um, an earth sign that you're dealing with. Yeah, this could be an Aquarius, um, Libra or Gemini. Um, this person is more of um, showing you some aloofness right now. Mm -hmm. They're showing you that um, they are aloof, possibly detached, like, um, yeah. They may not be talking to you, but I see that for some of you, this person could be stalking you too. Not in a bad way, but you know, stalking in the sense that this person may be interested to know about you um, on a day-to-day -day basis. They may still be curious about what you're doing. Uh, this could very well be like Cappy. If you have a YouTube channel, this person could likely um, create a fake account and be one of your subscribers, for instance. Or if you are linked in uh, into social media, this person could be checking you out in your Facebook, Instagram, and whatever other social platforms you guys are using nowadays. Okay. And um, <laughs> I see the devil right here, and usually I will talk about it differently, but since this is a Cappy reading, I think this person is seeing you as who you are. I'm not saying you're devilish, Cappy. No, definitely not. It's just that this card represents you, yeah? And you know that. So I see that um, however this person is seeing you right now, they see you as you. Like if you are a Cappy for them that is dependable, that is hardworking, that is um, trustworthy, then that is how they see you, okay? But if they see you as a Cappy towards them who is uh, treacherous or not trustworthy or somebody who is um, lazy or not doing any um, concrete actions towards them then that is exactly how they see you so they see you as who you are and how they know you yeah that's exactly just it um another element to that is they may see you as someone who can be pretty obsessive or who could be somebody who have been with them in a rather toxic kind of relationship or connection they may see you as someone who could have been codependent or vice versa all right, and uh, hence this person um, mm. so they're seeing you as someone who could possibly be codependent, and there's some sort of obsession right there. there's some sort of negative vibes, just you know negative attachments, yeah, and that um they see you as someone who is just waiting. Possibly not really doing much, but just waiting for, um, I don't know, possibly opportunities to come your way. But the way this person sees you right now is that you have unhealthy attachments. They could also see you as someone who may be having multiple partners. Yeah, that can be that energy too. And um, hence you're just waiting there and not doing any moves towards them, if that is what they were expecting. Okay. Um, Gabby, this person that you're dealing with is quiet right now, and you know why? This person is now is is now beginning to see their value and the value that they put into this connection. So whatever that is, you may also be dealing with an, another Earth sign here, but I see that this person now is beginning to see their value. They're beginning to see. Um, what they can put into this connection and how they value this connection. They know that now. If previously you were dealing with someone who could be a non of 
queen of coins energy, that would be somebody who is not confident, insecure, or somebody who could be clingy, somebody who could be um, needy. Yeah, That is gone. And this person right now is standing sure-footed and has that knowledge and knowing, that sense of knowing about their value, self-worth, at the same time on the value that they put in a connection. And they know that now. This person has gotten some, that sort of them trying to value their themselves more. Possibly because they have spent more time doing self-care and self-love, yeah? And um, they're still pretty confused about this connection. They don't know what to do with this connection. And therefore, they're just hanging themselves upside down. <laughs> Not literally, but more so. Just... Um, Letting time pass by, yeah? And possibly as time goes by, you or them can see things from a different perspective and things like that. Because as of the moment, they're not sure what to do about this connection or whether this is the connection that they want to pursue. They're kind of not sure about it. The only thing that this person is sure right now is where they're standing on, that they know their value. Mm -hmm. um, Cappy also I'm seeing that this person is burdened about this commitment if, if this commitment or this uh, connection that you've had is something that they are committed to if you're married to this person I feel that um, they're burdened by this or if they are married to someone else and then you're seeing them I feel that this person is also burdened by that marriage or by that commitment or however is, is playing on your part. I, I'm seeing here that you could be dealing with two people here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but nevertheless, yes, the person that you are thinking about right now is pretty much um, burdened about... Um, this commitment that um, they're in so it's either if you're just dealing with each other so this could be a commitment with you if they are dealing with someone else then they're definitely like burdened about that connection yeah and therefore they don't know what to do mm -hmm. For some of you, though, I'm seeing that th there's a likelihood that if someone is married in this connection, there could be an ending to that. There could be an ending to that. Or perhaps if this is a marriage, I feel that this completion right here is that you're wrapping up your marriage, you're, you're, you're ending things out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a processing of an ending, Cappy. But after this ending, I see that, oh, you have the Three of Cups and the Justice right here. So, someone is wanting to restart this connection. Someone is wanting to have a restart to celebrate, to communicate, to get together and want to make things right. That's interesting, especially with this energy energies right here. Because I feel there's some lack of movements but rather lack of movements and um, more so there's some sort of like negative attachment somebody's knowing their worth and there's lack of um, actions right here but the underlying energy we're getting is that somebody's wanting to make things right bring back balance into this connection so all right Cappy I'm interested <laughs> I'll extend this um, reading so if you want to follow me in the extended, the link, I'll post the link in the description box below, all right? In the meantime, let us get you some messages from the person that you're dealing with. What do they want you to know? What do they want you to know, Cappy? What do they want you to know? My family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realized. This could just be them talking about their responsibilities mm -hmm. and their family. Or yeah, if this person is married too, and then you are dating this person, so 
yeah they may not be they're not wanting to be in third party per yeah definitely nobody wants to be in the third party yeah well <laughs> i'm not sure now <laughs> but let's see let's see more messages i am working towards a better future that's nice that's nice isn't it i know i made a huge mistake okay so these messages really are not um they they kind of in line with the reading for now but um Cappy, let me know in the uh, comment section below how this resonates in your situation all right leave me some comments in there and don't forget to hit like and subscribe and um, click on the notification bell so that you would be um, notified as and when I would um, post my new videos, okay? And if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. If this is where we part ways, thank you guys for stopping by.